Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of Guess the Elo. This is episode eight, and in this series, I analyze my Twitch subscriber games live on stream without knowing what their rating is, and based on the moves, I try to guess what rating they are. As always, if you want to get in on a future episode, make sure that you are a Twitch subscriber and a member of the Discord. I've got nothing else to say. Let's go. Here we go. D4 from Gotham subscriber. Already love the guy. Beautiful move. Clearly an owner of the Gotham Chess London course available at www.gotham-chess.com. Uh, great course. Uh, and so after D5, we... Okay, well, I mean, clearly this person has my course, but just hasn't had a chance to look at it uh, because, um, you know, they've been busy with work or with school. Um, so, you know, they just go back to the Queen's Gambit, uh, which is fine. You know, Queen's Gambit, Queen's Gambit declined. We get knight out to c3, knight out. Okay, so, so far, so good, actually. This is what I play with white. Like, I, I play like this. Now, what does black play here? Okay, classical queen's gambit declined. Now, of course, you can also play bishop b4, Rogozin, c5, semitarish, Vienna, semislav. You know, there's a lot. There's a lot. So, bishop to e7, bishop to g5. This is a classical main line. Okay, this is the first move that, that, that is kind of like it's a normal move, but of course you would rather put your bishop on the more active square. Um, but bishop, there's nothing wrong with this. Now, for black, it's actually funny. Like, if you're going to play c5, you would rather your knight be on c6. And we can start putting up the, uh, the engine here. Um, yeah, actually, speaking of, uh, the knight on d7 here, actually, like, like joking aside, it, it, it's the game between... Um, it's the game between uh, Irene and Dewakipas. Like, I'm not even joking. I'm, I'm, like, that, that, in the game, he developed like this with, with white. And I was like, this is, not, um, this is not the best way to develop because you're playing very passively. Like, you want your knight on c6. Like, that's, I mean, if you guys haven't seen that game, that, that's how that game went. I'm not even joking, right? So, um, so castles. So both players are keeping the tension in the center here with their pawns. Okay. Now... This is a really difficult position, which is one of the reasons I don't recommend playing the Queen's Gambit if you're a beginner. Because you get, you guys know this feeling. You get this far, and now it's like, now what? Like, now what, you know? Okay, you know? Right, so... I would maybe go Rook C1 and bring my Rook to the center. Um, I don't know, I mean, at some point you're gonna have to take something, because they're all equal trades. Okay, so knight to e5 is not a bad move, uh, but this trade long-term isn't good for white because you double your own pawns, and this pawn could just be a weakness when it gets there. Like, it's... Okay, black just takes. Um, fine, takes, takes. D takes c4. Okay. Okay, so everything has um, kind of swapped off now. I mean, I would probably just take this with the bishop. Yep. Okay, very solid game so far. I mean, I, I could be anything, honestly. Could be anything. Okay, okay. So, this one move, I don't think anybody... I mean, I don't think anybody like 1600, 1700 plays this move. Oh, hide the music? Sure. Yeah, YouTube, we have no music. You guys never, you don't know. But if you want, come, come visit on Twitch. We have pretty good music. Like 600 songs here on the playlist. So, um... Yeah, this I don't really like because you just kind of weaken your pieces on the queen side. But let's see, let's see if black... Okay, well, I mean, you know, players sometimes see their opponents making moves. So then they just play the exact same move because they can, right? They go here. Whoa. This guy said, I'm going to be fancy. I'm not going to move my bishop. I'm going to take your knight. And the guy takes back, takes, takes, and now bishop back. So here, black is better. And I know the engine says minus 0.95, but why is that? How would, you how would you describe why black is better here? This is actually a really good example of, uh, of position evaluation because obviously y'all have all seen... The YouTube video, four ways to evaluate a chess position, right? The big thing here is that white has this isolated pawn 
and the, the square in front of it could be very well controlled very soon. Like, for example, I will put my rook here, and then I'll play rook d8, rook c8, and rook d8, and my bishop is, is better than yours. Like, this bishop is not staring at anything useful. So black is always better in this position just because of this pawn. Everything else is equal, but this pawn and slight piece activity goes to black. So, oh wait, all that happened? Oh, d5. Good idea, but now black should pin. Now, if you're like 1600, I think you just auto pin. Okay, damn. Whoa, 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 hey, 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 hey. Whoa. Hey, dog. Wh Bruh. Maybe white is a genius. Maybe he's like, yo, I got this pawn and like my opponent's not going to know what to do with it. Uh-oh. Oh my god, the guy playing with white is a genius. It worked. I can't believe it. It actually worked. That was so f that was so creative by him to just isolate this pawn and utilize the back rank to infiltrate. Oh my god. So what should have happened? Takes, takes. Ah, this is so tricky. You need someone to guard the rook. The queen can't. It can't guard the rook on any of the squares. They're all covered. Every single square is covered by a white piece. So you have to go g5 to anticipate this and play king g7 and glue the rook. Wow, that's tricky. That's very tricky. Uh, black not, I mean, I mean, not finding g5 is very tough for me to say. Bishop b7 and, yeah, and oh my god, and, and now, now that's crazy. Wow, very good practical play. And now black resigns. Damn. Damn. That is, uh, wow. Okay, I mean, uh, I mean, I want to say like 15, 1600, probably. But, no, 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 he, no, 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 no. So very important, someone's saying he, fores he foresaw all of that? Well, no, because the truth is that I think he just blundered the queen. I mean, maybe I'm wrong, but maybe he was like, I don't want to suffer forever with this, with this weakness, so let me just sacrifice and we'll see what happens. Like, maybe that's what the guy said, right? But, um, this position, I mean, you know, you know what I might play in this position. I might just go here. Uh, like, honestly, this is, uh, like, I'm, you know, you just sack the rook and for the, for, for the bishop and the pawn. And then this is not mate because you have this. And, and this is easily winning for black. This bishop is just way too strong. So sometimes just simplify Get rid of that thorn in the position. Even if the trade is losing five points to four, for just for practicality's sake, just take it because you have the queen, right? So, also I just got a donation on chess.com. So that was I, I just saw that pop up. Um, so just do that. Would a sixteen hundred blunder their queen like that? Anything is possible. I mean, I you know the opening the opening really confuses me because they had a really good opening like a really no one did anything stupid for like 15 moves which you know if you're like a thousand is really impressive and if you're 1600 it's like okay well i mean that's kind of expected but um mm, i mean with the exception of the queen blunder white played you know white played pretty well i'm gonna say i'm gonna say 1600 low 1600 high 1500 Oh yeah, I see the, the self-dono up there. That's what I'm going to say. Alright, let's go take a look. I got to make sure that it's cropped right. Okay, I got to bring it down a little. I wouldn't be surprised if white's accuracy was really high, despite being down a queen. That's just sometimes what happens. And survey says... Wow, I was right. Well, I was kind of right. I said, lo I said high 1500, low 1600. Wow, I was right. <laughs> All right. I mean, I don't know if that counts as right, but I did say like 15, 1600. Yeah. Damn. Yeah, and, and so I'm curious. Uh... Wait. Hold on. This is a 10 minute game? Wait. Boss. How did you play 40 moves and use 
two minutes. What you, I mean, finishing fast is, you know, it's, it's bad in most cases. I mean, you know what I mean? Like, like they give you time. You should use it. No, it's just 10 0. I don't think it's 10 5. You know what I mean? Like, it's. Slow down, bro. Relax. Where, where are you going? You got a business meeting to attend? Damn. Anyway. Um, chat, relax with the cheating memes. Stop. It's not. It, it, you just look dumb later on. All right. Anyway, we go back. Let's, let's keep it moving. All right. For the second game, Gotham subscriber has the black pieces. D4, E6. Okay, very nice. Uh, this guy is actually must be a proud owner of the Gotham Chess E6, B6 course. Uh, available at... Okay, I'm not going to say it. Bishop B7, Bishop B4. Great, beautiful stuff. So White hasn't played E4, so now we go F5, of course. Okay, so clearly this person... Ha <laughs> Guys, got to go F5. I mean, with black, like, if you can secure this and then play knight f6, it's a lot better. All right? Knight f6. Or maybe, who knows? Maybe not a proud owner. Take, take. Good, good. Play f5. Play f5. Oh, my God. Play f... Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, oh. He trapped the queen. <laughs> the queen is trapped. What? Well, you know. He would have trapped the queen if f5 happened also. But, uh, wow. That is a really nice find. That's a really, really, really nice find. Honestly, like, great job, you know? Th this is, by the way, how e6b6 is played. Um, uh, I wouldn't be surprised if the best move here is f5. Yeah, see? Top engine move. Uh, don't, don't, don't look at the move that he played. Don't, don't. You ju just look at my suggestion. Um... I wouldn't be surprised if after knight takes d2, the best move is f5. Yeah, see? So, you got it. Like, the, you, you need to go here at some point. Like, th this is kind of... Yeah, see? There you go. There it is. Um, you have to play f5 in these structures, and you know, so, so that you fight for the square. But, you know, the way he did it, he didn't make any blunders. Now, here, I think, you know, you also can play, like, queen g5 and, like, queen h4. But guy just played normal moves. And then here, you know... This is a great example of um, scanning for forcing moves. So just looking around, being like, what can I attack? Do I have any threatening moves? Can I create a threat? And you do. Yeah, you, you have a way to create a threat here. And that, that way is bishop to e4. And that way also happens to win a queen. So very nice. Now simplify. Good. Don't hang your rook. Take this pawn. Don't take this pawn. Nice. Nice, not good. Clean up, clean up, clean up, clean up. No back rank mate. No back rank mate. Do not hang back. Bro, just make a luft. Okay, v beautiful. Uh, I would have done it. Oh, you missed it. Always look for checks. Always look for checks. Dog, you have a queen and a rook. What is this? This is one thing I'll never understand. Like, how would you in a million years play with your king here? You have a queen and you're not moving it. Homie. What are we doing here? We got a queen. Okay, good. Good. Yes. Yes. See what happens when you move your queen and rook? Oh. Unforgivable mistake. Unforgivable mistake. You didn't mate with a pawn. Unforgivable. Completely unforgivable mistake. There was no pawn checkmate. For this, for this, you lose at least... Everybody knows that if you can mate with a pawn, you're going to do it. Unforgivable mistake. I mean, goodness. Um, wow. Man, that was a good game, though. I got to say. That was, a, that was a very, very decent game. Um, I have, like, almost no information, honestly. Like, I can see a master playing like this. You know, just, just didn't play a five. But still, like, a, a very good game. I mean, all right. Maybe this is my fault, and uh, I, uh, you know, I should just tell you guys to... I should just scan the games better. But the truth is, it's really hard to scan all the games. Especially when, um, you know, there, there, there's a lot of them coming in. Guys, don't submit games. You just win queens like this, you know? it. Uh, I understand you want to submit a game you won and that you're proud of, but it makes it a lot harder for me. Um, <clears throat> I mean, I don't know. 
to be honest, like I, I honestly have no idea. It could be anywhere from 1,200 to 2,200. Actually, no, because 2,200 would have resigned. Huh. I want to say 12 to 1,300. Maybe high 1,100. 12 to 1,300 is what I'm going to say. Based on how white played. And, and I, think, I, think, I think black played very well. Here we go. Oh. Oh, I th oh wow. That, that's a little lower than I expected, but very nice job. Yo, shout out to P2 Monster. I, I just had a feeling. White didn't play very well. White played a lot of very natural... Like, what is Queen D3? You know? Like, this move wasn't... I mean, this move is just a bit odd. Um... Just very passive play by white. Like, what is rugby? Like, why? Like, why'd you go rugby one? You know? Maybe there was an idea to go like c5 and then if takes, like, takes this. But not seeing this is a big giveaway. The fact that white did not see bishop e4, let alone lose their queen. The thing is, you need to see bishop e4 if you're like 1400. Because you need to see that they're putting you th there's a way for them to put you in danger anybody like 14 1500 sees bishop e4 i think so 12 1300 or 1100 um kind of makes sense so actually that wasn't that bad of a challenge all right next game uh goth oh damn i forgot to put uh which person was was who here okay i think i think gotham sub is black in this game if i remember correctly Sorry, I set this up before I drank any coffee, so we're going to look at it from Black's perspective. Please read your question in chat if you, if you get the chance. Well, I'm recording for YouTube right now, and we're kind of like in, in... I mean, can I... Let me finish this first, okay? Just so we don't... I don't have to edit this out later. I wanted it out later. Hi, YouTube. Can, can we finish the recording first? Thank you. All right, so E3, E5... I'm sorry. All right, so I think these guys are like 600. Um, next game. What is this? Yo, now white is playing... Now black is playing white. Look at this. So it's basically like E4, E5. So basically now black is playing white in this game. Okay, very good. Putting everything in the center. Now, here is a great moment. Is d5 the best move? Of course. Strike back in the center. Strike back in the center. You have better development. It's time to strike in the center. I don't hate that move. Right? I don't hate that move. Okay, that move I kind of hate. I don't... <clears throat> I don't... Okay. Oh my god, do you have a Traxler style trick here? This is like the Traxler variation. This is how openings and tactics... And by the way, and if, if you don't know the Traxler, go look up the Traxler. Um, this is how opening tactical patterns overlap. So in the Traxler, there's this tricky thing where you can take and then you can double check. Like this. Double check. And then the king moves, and you go here, and then you, you're just winning. So. Okay. Okay, I like this move, though. I like this move. I, I mean, I would also probably consider transferring my queen over here to try to create some threats. Okay. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Oh, it's check. That's brutal, and you can't take. Oh, that sucks. Okay, good. Okay, see, white is very trade-happy. This is a terrible trade. Clearly, the guy playing with white has not watched the Gotham Chess YouTube video called When Should You Trade Pieces in Chess? Why is Bishop Takes C6 such a bad move? I mean, it's your most powerful piece. Why wouldn't you just put it here, where it can stand and patrol the entire board? You know what I mean? Like, Bishop Takes C6 is... I mean, you're trading your only... Oh! <laughs> Boss. Boss, I mean, I mean, boss. What is this, boss? Boss, take with a queen. The hell is you doing? What you doing? I mean, what, what, what do you? What? <laughs> I mean, the queen's the most powerful piece. You're gonna keep the queen on the back rank. I mean, boss, what, like, what is? All right. 
All right, I would go here without even thinking. Good man. Beautiful. All right. E4. Just break in the center or put the queen closer this way. Um, maybe rook lift. Oh, but... Oh, my God. You rook lifted and you got unlucky. Did he buy it? Oh, oh he copied you. Your opponent copied you. They were like, hey, he moved this queen there a move ago. Boss. Boss, what are we doing? We playing Monopoly? What is this? Is the rook trying to move one square? Like, what are we doing here? We trying to play Monopoly with the rook? Boop, boop, boop. What? Like, boss. What are we doing? <laughs> what, what is this? My man couldn't decide what he was doing. He, he had to guard the pawn, which was already guarded a few times. So, yeah, this position's tough. I mean, you know, you want to line up an attack on the king, maybe. That's one of the things. Or triple up. You know, get the Aljochen's gun. Okay, now we just trade because we can. Okay, now we in business. Okay, very good. Oh, he's gonna take that, of course. Make a luft for your king so you never get back ranked. Boss. Boss. I love you. Oh, terrible move. What? Th First of all, this doesn't even attack the rook. It's pinned, you, you bozo. And also now rook f3 will hit everything. Okay, so this guy, like, really wanted to take advantage of the king's l luft. Okay, he, like, really wanted to... He, like, really... <laughs> All right. Boss, move the rook. Boss, love it. Boss? Boss, beautiful. Wait. Can't you, like, just go and mate? Okay, I mean, you saw the pawn, you took it. I don't hate it. What is white doing? Yes. Beautiful. Beautiful. Yes. But that's not even I mean I don't I don't even know what to say. That was just that was just very good. That was very good. You got out of the opening, you outplayed the guy. Very nice. Um Yeah, I don't know. Um well you know, white could have slipped in the opening, to be honest. But then what is eight what is A3? I'm gonna say like nine hundred. Um I mean white just didn't I mean this is the thing, like you see Black clearly has an understanding of the opening. Like, look at, look at Black's play, right? Like, Black is playing a good opening. This is a good opening. Everything Black is doing is good. Black's chess foundation is really good. I wouldn't be surprised if three months from now, with some more practice, Black is like 300 points higher than they are now. Um, white playing like a high 800 with no openings, basically. Like, not bad, not really too much, but like very trade happy, you know, some bad decisions. I would say a high 800, low 900. Um... Or, you know what, mid-8, mid, low mid-800. Mid, uh, low mid-800. Oh, was there another pawn mate missed? Oh, you mean this? Hanging your own king? No, he didn't miss mate. No, he would've hung his own king. Sorry. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna say, I'm, I'll say like 900, I think. I'm gonna say like 900. <clears throat> okay, here we go. I mean, bo I'm, bo boss, boss, I'm unstoppable. You could call me C. Bands. Who are you talking about? Respectfully. Bro. I love how... Wait, is this a 15-minute game? Yo, what is the guy playing with white doing? How are you playing a 15-10 chess game and ending it with 16 minutes on the clock? Like, where is this guy in a rush to, bro? Where is he in a rush to? Is the guy late for a meeting? Why is he playing a 15-minute chess game which could potentially take 40 minutes? What, like, like, what is, what, what is he doing? My, my, my homie's playing like three bullet games in one. Just go play bullet. Ridiculous. I got nothing to say. What a bozo. Yo, shout out to Gotham Sub who won that game. All right, here we go. Back, here's game number four. E4, E6. All right. I like the two knights against the French. Very good. This is one of my recommendations in my course, which is available at WW... Okay, I'm going to stop now. Knight F6, D... How is it that every single time I plug the courses, y'all play the wrong move? Y'all making me look bad, man. I don't teach D... What is D4? Bro, you got to attack the knight. That's like... It's move four. How are you forgetting? Bro. Crazy. I mean, y'all tripping, man. Now you just... Black just, just both players here. This actually makes me think it's like a game between a 1,000 and like a 1,100. Um, 
Oh, Ed Lad from last game that said, thanks for picking me. I'm 1050 now. Bought your E4 course recently. Much love, homie. See, like I said, Ed Lad clearly going to be gaining rating. Clearly seems like they have a very good chess foundation. So, um, uh, you, you guys like that C bands reference? That's one of the funniest dudes on TikTok. All right, I like this. So anyway, uh, low rated players, like 1,000, uh, 900, they have a blind spot for this stuff in the, in the, mid in the middle of the board. They uh, very rarely see pawn captures for some reason. Black is just winning. Like, literally, if, like, if Black just takes and takes, Black just... Oh my gosh, guys. Oh my gosh. Oh, does it the wrong way. Okay, okay, okay. Oh my god, what the... Home, home dog! What, what, what is that? Okay, here's the good news. Here's the good news, okay? This is a curable problem, okay? Whereas, you know, spending thousands of dollars on chess courses and not looking at them, that's not curable. That's just, you have a, you, have, you know, you know what I mean? So, right? So it's, uh... Anyway, knight takes d4. e5. Knight f3. Oh, yeah, I mean, now why does yourself a piece? I mean, what? Uh, bishop to g4. Knight f3. Gonna take the pawn. Good. Take the bishop. Good. Okay. Now, you're up a knight in a rook end game. Uh, just go trade the rook. I don't dislike that move. Trade the rook. Beautiful. Infiltrate. Yes. 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 Great stuff. Okay, I mean, I mean, just take the rook, please. But good. Yes, immediately went to the open file again. Yes, very nice. Okay, so this is really nice by Black. Targeting the weakness. Now at this point, what I would do if I was with White, I wouldn't, I wouldn't hang on to this pawn. Because the truth is you need to think one step further. Is Black ever going to win this? No. No. Right? The song is probably not very appropriate for chess TV. I'll probably just switch the song. So you don't need to shut out your rook forever, right? Because they're not going to win this pawn. So you can just infiltrate and make a luft for your king. Make a luft for your king. Yes, 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 yes. Great, great, great. Yes. Oh my goodness. Yes, 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 yes. You can close your eyes for this part of the video and it might be make you think that you are watching something else yes 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 let's go 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 bro what is where are we going where are we going with the king bro what oh okay we did it we did it we 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 took a little bit of time we got a little bit distracted a little bit distracted got a little you know rib cramp but we got we got there we got there in the end oh there we go there we go there we go there we go someone in the chat said is the move a4 a move all the way back here so the move a4 is a legal move but there is en passant and you would lose your pawn and then you would go what the excuse me chess.com you've got a glitch and i'll play the move a4 my opponent play b takes a3 i don't know how that happened so yeah anyway um don't get hit with that um good game honestly Minus everything in the first 15 moves. But other than that, it was a pretty decent game of chess. Uh, I, got, I got to go with 700 on this one, probably. I don't know. If black is any higher rated than 720, uh, I don't know. They're probably in inebriated. It's the, it's the only thing that I can say. Uh, you know what? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say like 800. I don't know. I mean, I, I, yeah, I, 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 yeah, yeah, anyway, I don't know, like 800, yeah, 
<laughs> there you go. Uh, well, 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 our, our, our guy's a bit higher. Yeah, black is seven. Se Yo, this dude. Hey, somebody should gift him a diamond. And then this guy will just take some chess.com lessons and get better. That was, that was rough, man. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to lie. That was rough. That was a rough game. That was a, that was a weird, that was, that was. Uh, we got kids watching these shows, man. Like, we gotta, we gotta be a good influence. All right, final game of the video. Okay. Oh, I don't like when they do that. It's kind of boring playing these positions. What I like to do here is just to take and then play like this. And this leads to a position that kind of looks like the Tartikau or Karakhan. You just play like bishop d6 and castle. Get your bishop out, get your knight out, and you're very happy. Okay, d4 is obviously nothing wrong with d... Ah, uh, the knight is trapped. If you just play e5 and c6, the knight is trapped. Okay, he played c6 first. Is, is e5 just winning for black? Yeah, it is. Like, there's some... There's like a very... It's a very tough to... Yeah, you gotta do this. Wow. Okay. Yeah, but now... Oh... This is why you don't just wander your horse into the opponent's territory. It's like why you don't let your, um, you don't let, I touched my ear? No way. Are you serious? Oh, dude, I was trying so hard not to. Okay, well, up now we've reset. Um, damn. All right. No more, no more, no more. It's a challenge that I'm taking up. Sit on your hands? Yeah, okay, I'll sit on my hands. Who's gonna make the moves? Should I make them with my nose? Yeah, don't put your knights into your opponent's territory where they have to face the pawns. Yeah, so we have c6 here. I'm not actually gonna... What a, what a wacky episode, man. All right, bishop d6. Very good. Okay, aggressive. Very aggressive. Nice. Um, I would just... It's very tough. You know, a lot of you always ask me, like, how do you punish stupid play in the opening? It's it's not so simple, you know, like, you would think that it's as easy as, okay, I just damage the structure and then I, like, go take the pawn, but there's still tricks. You see, computer still thinks it's plenty of tricks. So, yeah, like, that's a good move. But the problem is that that move opens up your opponent's lines and then maybe there's tactics. I like this, though. I like what Black is doing here. Take the bishop. Good, good. Now, that's a good trade because that bishop is really strong. Um, That's good. I would do that as well. Okay, take space. Nice, nice. Black is playing very well. Don't hang your rook. Now, the one saving grace is this is a hanging knight. That's the one saving grace. And you also have knight c6, which c disconnects the... Wow, look at what the computer's saying. It's saying that after knight c6, the queen is trapped. So, for example, if king h1, you have this, and you're threatening mate and the queen. So, black is just a genius, and I should shut up, basically. Here, here. Oh. Oh. It happened anyway. This happened in the game. This happened in the game. So, black, uh, white, white just could have brought the queen back. Like, this was not mate. But white just left the queen there and got it trapped. Take your queen out. And, uh... Bro, what... Bro, what are you doing? You pit in the pawn. There's no... Uh. Oh. Oh. Just like last game. Why are y'all putting rooks in this position, man? Rooks gotta be active, man. What is that? What is that? Good. Good. Okay, back to... What is this? Like, even when you're winning, you know? Even when you're winning. What is this? Like, what... You don't have time to play moves like this. Guys, what are the... Basically, the, look. Before you want to make a move, you got to ask yourself, is it safe? That move is safe. Does it do anything? That move does nothing. Like, you could find... Well, then his bishop can no longer go to the A4 square. Yeah, but like... Eh, like that... So? You know? Just go like King G7, Rook H8. Like, you gotta play with purpose. You know, you gotta play with purpose. I like it. There you go. Nice. Yes. Good. Good. 
okay, okay. I mean, that's just the pawn, and that's another pawn, and that, that would be another pawn. But I like this, you know, one move threat on the rook. Okay, very... Oh, I don't know what would... Okay, we're doing some... Uh-oh, I'm getting... Oh, we just hung the bishop. Forgot the bishop was hanging. Nice. Nice. Uh, there must be some mate very soon. There must be a mate. It's very tricky here. Some... I love how rook g8 threatens... Rook g8 threatens mate in one for white. So... Oh, okay. Now you can even push and then sack the queen for the rook and make another queen. Oh, boss, you were right there, boss. All right, I like it anyway. I like it. Yes, 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 boss. Boss, what are you doing? Why, why you want two queens? What are you, a Mormon? You got the queen. You got, it's just, forget about everybody else. Forget about, about everybody else. It's just the king, queen, and king. What are we doing? Just, bring the, just, 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 just go here. What are you doing? How you doing? It's king g4, king f3. Just get in there with the, with the king and the queen. Boss, what are we doing? <laughs> what, is, what is this? Why you need two queens to checkmate the guy? <laughs> Why, why'd you gotta do him like that? I mean, I mean, come on. <laughs> oh my goodness. All right, I mean, I respect it. You know, I respect the conversion, but uh, all right. Um. Weird game, man. I don't know. I feel like Black played like a like a thirteen hundred. There was a few bad moves, but they were solo moves. I mean, Black played great. Every okay, hanging the rook was a was a very bad. Hanging the rook was very bad. Um, if I had to put a rating on this, I would say high one thousand, low eleven hundred. Uh, if you're anything lower than high one thousand, like if you're like a thousand thirty or something, that's fine. But if you're below a thousand. Uh, you have very good potential in chess. So let's go look. Wow, right on the money. Right, bro, this was, this, did I go five for five today? I was really on the money again. I mean, t damn, I was, today was a good day of guessing ELO. Damn.